Can't let the desensitivity seep in. But if it's your problem, then it's not mine. It's a woman's problem. It's a black people problem. It's a poor people problem. I mean, how many of us in this room have colleagues and partners and friends from other races, sexes, religions? Show of hands. Well then, you know, they wanna break bread with you, right? They like you? Well then, this is their problem too. So when we're marching and protesting and posting about the Michael Brown Juniors and the Tatiana Jeffersons of the world, Tell your friends to pull up. Yeah. I've just been here. I'm just down by the whole George Floyd situation. And I knew I have to post about this because I have to use my voice and I have to use my platform. And although I'm a happy-go-lucky, goofy person from time to time, when it's time to get serious and talk about real stuff, we all need to stand up and talk about that real stuff. Now, I'm going to post some clips about the man that everybody's talking about and if you haven't seen it already watch it because you need to know what's going on in this world stop avoiding the news stop avoiding what's going on let's talk about real stuff here and this was in part came from the swift action we saw this police department tape let's remember this just happened yesterday and within 24 hours all four of the officers involved with this have been fired. I mean, we've seen, sadly, many of these cases live for us in Minneapolis. And Omar, uh, give us the details from the press conference with the police chief. Well, the press conference with that police chief, one of the big things he was trying to call for was the, a push for trust between the police and the community. You couldn't watch it, could you? Neither could I. So I didn't put that video in because actually it is horrendous to see somebody being murdered on broad daylight on news, on television, uncensored, with the person's face there. It was horrible. I did not want to see that. If I could, I would have never seen it. But I put on the news and there it was. There it was full screen. Couldn't even, couldn't run away from it. It was just there. And this is a crazy thing. You know, the day after there were protests, right? They were protesting against this police brutality. And one lady said, what are we going to do about this? White people that are here at this protest right now, what are y'all going to do about this? And I was just thinking to myself, the problem is this. It's very hard to know what we can do about this. Be it white, be it black, because as Rihanna said, pull up. If you are white and you have black friends or you like black people or you're just a normal human being that likes all people, pull up. Something has happened. It wasn't fair. Pull up. If you're Asian, the same. If you're from whatever, whatever your background is, we are all humans, right? And most likely you have friends from other cultures, other backgrounds, right? So if something happens to their people, pull up. Pull up. Say something. Don't pretend it's it's... It's nothing, right? But we need to educate ourselves. We need to know what's really going on. Then we need to make it that we're not just posting online, on Instagram, tweeting, and all these type of things. Because ultimately, that creates awareness. But the people that need to be aware are asleep. The people that need to be woke are, are dreaming. In terms of the do something comment, all those white people can do is go back to their families and be like, listen, go back to their racist aunties and uncles and be like listen i don't agree with what you're saying uncle bob you've been talking like this ever since i was little and i don't agree with it you're not about to ruin my birthday party come and sit up here and talk negatively about black people you are not about to do that that's how we change things and i'm not just saying white people we all have to do this because in every race there's these prejudices we have to do this all around so that we can all start to see each other as human beings right but in this specific case, those white people that this lady was referring to at the protest, this is what they can do. Other than that, are we forgetting the fact that people were recording, people were recording as this man was dying and they couldn't do anything? I don't know if we saw everything, but I've seen a lot of videos and not once did I see one person say hey stop it or go towards the police why they scared of the same police they scared of the police they know that a policeman that can put his knee on a man's neck till he
dies or he's in even distress in as much as distressed as George was in that this police would not hesitate one second so then what can be done about it well if you know a racist person you need to confront them we need and it happens in very tiny little ways and sometimes if you don't check a person these preconceived notions will go on in their mind and they'll think it's okay to think that way and very soon another race is seen as more inferior to them because there's nobody around to challenge what they're saying nobody around to challenge their racist ways of speaking and then the racist ways of speaking becomes racist ways of acting and nobody says anything because ah, that's uncle bob he always talks like that why is he talking like that could you put him in a setting with a bunch of black people and everybody will be cool with what they're saying no that means there's something wrong with it you do it in the house at the kitchen table at the barbecues you know hidden hidden away where nobody can hear you and after a while that becomes a normal train of thought to think about people to think about black people in a certain way because you've been speaking to people in your family and your friends and your circle for so long and nobody has said anything that now your ideas have grown and grown and grown see as a kid when you do something wrong and your parents or whoever's taking care of you checks you they check you long enough you will start to learn to live a different way because you know you're gonna get checked that's what that's what that is if nobody's reprimanded for bad behavior bad behavior continues that is human nature it becomes a habit it becomes normal duh question is not what could those white people at the protests have done the real question is what are the higher-ups doing you know a second ago I was talking about reprimanding people big people need to be reprimanded sometimes too because we'll be still on some foolishness as grown bum people and so what is happening to them people see the thing is this you at some point the higher-ups must notice that this is not okay it is so not okay that it is punishable you know you don't just get off scot-free you don't just get to walk around scot-free like nothing has happened you know so that that is the problem you know leave the white people alone that came all the way to the protest in this time of corona they came all the way to the protest they're there mixing and mingling with everybody they obviously care but then again just like those that took the videos what can they do about this i'm about to wrap this up but all i'm saying is what can they do about the situation what we need to do as a society on the ground is to weed out the people that have these weird ideas about other people about other races all the racist people we need to weed them out we need to check them and we need to check them early and we might have to continue to check them throughout their lives but we are all accountable and we all need to do this especially if it's somebody close to you would you believe that a white person can be a friend with a black person and still say some racist stuff that happens oh yeah it does and then if you're the black friend you gotta check them just go on tiktok you see a lot of that a lot of black people that are just allowing stuff to happen they're wrong too we need to check them they don't feel the need to check themselves they think this is normal they they just do what they can get away with for those that are on tiktok basically it's people white and black friends that you know they're all in the friend group or they have a few black friends in there or they have that one token black friend because you know it's it's good good luck to have one of them at least and well you know uh they be doing some very very racist stuff doing or saying very very racist stuff and the black friend is just like <laughs> no that doesn't mean that it's our fault what i'm trying to say is i as a human being we're not a racist bone in my body I'm trying to figure out how somebody gets to that level of hate you see I'm trying to look at the other side because nobody's looking at it but I'm really trying to investigate that other side because I need to understand it how do you get to that level of hate how does that just crop up because I know children are not racist children are not racist they don't they don't they might be scared of you i'm talking from experience here they might be scared of you because they just don't know 
what this being is that is way darker than themselves if they've never been exposed to it, which is also a fault of the parents sometimes. I mean, if you have the means to let your children mingle with kids that don't look like them, you do that because they are out there. We are out here in the world. You're going to encounter us. You get to that level of hate. Is it little bits of racism sprinkled throughout the decades and then at some point that black person's life is just so worthless that you just I don't know I don't know how you get there I'm just trying to talk to you all about how like what we can do as people with no power I don't have a badge you don't have a badge we, we don't have the right or the license to kill so we don't have that power so what can we do on, on the ground here besides check those that are getting their doses of racism bit by bit by bit and be like uh-uh you need to you need to get up off that because that's a problem we can't let that fester inside of you you need to let go of that racism because that's that's ultimately what accumulates to having somebody do such a heinous thing. Is that it? Is it racism? Or are we going to hear a few days down the line that, oh no, this person had loads of black friends. Oh, they went to a black church. Oh, they grew up and their best friend was black. I don't know. Things will start to come out to the surface and you just be like, wow, okay. So so now so now what do we do? Because now any human knowledge I thought I had is all out the window. If it's not the racism thing, then I don't know what it is. I am just trying to think because I, I, I'm not racist, so I don't know how these things work. I I I don't know how you get to this level of hate. Um this level of getting a power trip. And how you solve this is that the top needs to ensure that people who do these type of horrible crimes that they don't just get away with it. See if you can get away with things and history has always shown that you were able to get away with certain things. You always try to push further and see if you can also get away with this thing. In fact it's not even a question. You already know this is a fact that you will get away with this thing because history has shown you that that's always been the case and nothing at that present moment in time is showing you that that will not be the case again this time. So why wouldn't you test the waters in fact there's no waters to test because it's a fact that you will get away with this thing you will get away with these heinous crimes and there will be no no zero consequence in closing that is what needs to change there needs to be consequences there need to be consequences for these heinous crimes that happen that is how we're going to combat this it starts from the top and we can do our bits here, like I've mentioned, but this has to start from the top. I've got nothing else to say. But just to say, George Floyd, rest in perfect, perfect peace. I hope, I really hope that this is the one where we are like, this is enough. We conduct ourselves differently and we start to make a change because this cannot go on.